Hello, are you interested in perhaps buying a franchise, but you're not quite sure if you have the right experiences, makeup, personality? Well, I'd like to talk about what makes a really good franchisee and who makes a bad franchisee. Hi, my name is David Klappenberger. I've been a business owner since 1989, and I've been a franchisor selling my own franchise called Klappenberger & Sons since 2016. I'd like to share with you some information that I hope will be helpful. The first thing that I think I'm looking for, there's about three things that you could be called the first thing, but one thing would definitely be, do you have any manager, managerial experience? Have you hired people? Have you fired people? Have you had those critical conversations with people? That can be tough to have for you and for the person listening. Leadership. Leadership's really, really important for growing a business. It's how all businesses are going to grow. You have to be able to influence and motivate others. If you've done that, fantastic. If you've done, well, we can teach you how. Another thing, a characteristic we're looking for is sales. Have you done sales in the past? If so, did you get paid on commission? If you did and you were successful, you had to learn how to build value to the customer about whichever product or service you were selling. So sales, that sales experience can be very beneficial as well. I think more personally, you need to be somebody, A, who's willing to roll up their sleeves and work hard, B, who has integrity, who is honest, and I'd say uh, the a very important thing is you need to be willing to follow a process. Some people just, including myself, like to just do things their own way. And so a franchise for me, I might find that I'm fighting the system, that I want to do things my own way. And in a franchise, you there's a system already in place. In fact, that's why you're buying a franchise. I think one of the misconceptions that a lot of people have when they buy a franchise is they think, oh, if I spend X amount of dollars, the work will come in, they'll help me find people, and it's my investment that's doing most of the work. And nothing could be further from the truth. It's your hard work in, in, in addition to your investment. You're going to feel like your investment was a small part. There are systems and processes in place when you buy any franchise. And you need to trust the system and the process. And when you do, and you don't try to outguess it, things go really well for you. Now, I've created a list of questions. If you go to uh, this link below, you'll see that I've developed a set of really good questions for you to ask yourself, for you to ask a franchisor, and for you to ask a franchisee in order for you to find the franchise that's right for you. I highly recommend that you download that list and I look forward to talking to you. If you'd like some information about our franchise, uh, Klappenberger & Son, just go to the link also, franchise.klappenberger & Son. Have a great rest of your day.